More questions? I met a huge fan of yours in town who'd really, really like your autograph. An autograph picture would be even better. Imagine that. Me having fans way out here in the boonies. Well, I'm sure I have a picture around here somewhere. But what I don't have is a pen. Usually I just ask my assistant for one. I have a pencil here somewhere. A pencil won't do, dear. It has to be ink. See if you can borrow a pen from somebody. What's going on? Do you by any chance have a pen I could borrow? Why, I'm surprised at you. Don't you know that every detective should carry a pen? Actually, I carry a pencil. Well, as it happens, I got lots of pens. I'll tell you what, if you can play that Leapin' Lizards game I found over there and do better than I did when I played it, which shouldn't be that hard seeing as how smart you are, I'll give you a pen. What do you say? Sounds good to me. Okay, the object of the game is to get rid of as many lizards as you can by jumping them with other lizards until you can't jump anymore. Last time I played, I wound up with just five lizards. If you can wind up with only four, the pen's yours.
I did it! I won! Talk about luck. Here's your pin. What else can I do for you? You've been a big help. Helping people is what I'm all about. Have you found a pen so I can autograph that picture? I got it from Tino. You can keep it. If you could have it say, To Fatima, that'd be great. There you go. Anything else? What were you and Lori arguing about earlier today? Lori and I? We weren't arguing. We were simply discussing a topic about which both of us are passionate, that's all. Were you discussing her wanting to be a romance novelist? No. And even if we were, that's really none of your business. I know that sounds harsh, but really, Nancy, eavesdropping is so tacky. Actually, it was Frank and Joe Hardy who overheard you. They said I should talk to you before they gave me all the gory details, but since you obviously don't want to tell me your side of the story, I'll just have to get the scoop from them. No, no, you don't have to do that. A storyline that Lori submitted to me found its way into my last book, despite the fact that she never received compensation for it. She's reading the book now, and when she got to that part, she freaked. And that's what you were arguing about? Yes. Now, legally, she can't prove anything, and I'm certainly not about to admit anything, and it's not as if she needs the money. But that's what we were arguing about. For what it's worth, I'm going to talk to this producer I know to see if he'll cast Laurie in his next movie. It'll help ease my conscience, and who knows? She could wind up being a star. I mean, she is blonde. I'll touch bases with you later. My publisher thanks you. Hey, Nancy. There you are. We've been looking for you. Yeah, you won't believe the lucky break we caught. Lucky break? Hey, that was the result of good old-fashioned detective work. It was the result of your insisting we stop for a cheeseburger. Guys, what's going on? Well, it turns out that a grandchild of Jake's engineer still lives around here. What's more, he hangs out at the local diner. Comes in every day. Apparently, he's pretty ancient. 
Ah, and you found that out when you stopped there so Joe could get a hamburger. Cheeseburger. The thing is, the owner of the diner wouldn't agree to point the guy out unless one of us fills in for a short order cook. He's got to go home and wait for the cable guy or something. And since Joe here barely knows how to boil water, guess who got the job? Way to go, Frank. Oh, and get this. Balducci convinced Lori that Jake's mine is somewhere right here in Copper Gorge, so he, Lori, and John Gray are hiking up the mountain out there even as we speak. Like that bumblebrain's gonna find anything. Sounds like now might be a good time to do some serious poking around on the train. Good thought. Hey, I better get going. Wish me luck. I'll go with you. You can make me a cheeseburger. Got that autograph? Got something better. An autographed picture. Hot dang! She spelled my name right and everything. Go ahead, little missy. Have a go with that trunk. Whatever's inside, it's all yours. Hmm, this indentation looks familiar. I need to match that shape. 